When Kofi Annan spoke at Drew, his evening lecture wasn't the only thing on the agenda for the day. In the afternoon, he taught two classes, including one to the Baldwin Honors students. Matthew Carroll is one of the Baldwin scholars, and he says being in the same room as the former United Nations Secretary General was a memorable experience. Kofi Annan is a, is a major world figure, an international celebrity, and he's done tremendous work in human rights and uh, other doings for the international community, and I think it was a real honor to listen to him speak. The Baldwin Honors Program not only gives a select number of students the chance to take a more rigorous course load, but also gives them unique access to some of the high-profile speakers on campus. Let's talk about how imperative uh, climate change was to uh, really the future of civilization. Uh, really uh, resounded with me because I, th I don't think that internet or, uh, environmental issues really are, uh, are as utilized as they should be by the international community. Honors students asked Anon questions ranging from what's the biggest problem facing the world to what's his favorite music. I was surprised how open he was. He was very personal. It was easy to talk to him. His opinions were very straightforward. He didn't seem to try to hide anything. The Baldwin Honors Program is led by former Dean of the College, Paolo Kuki, and looks to enroll about 20 students annually. For Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.